Um, let's do Diddy Kong. Even though Kong's choices don't really matter. Lanky confirms Sen Senator Armstrong. What? I don't know if he's actually Senator Armstrong. I think you got might have gotten your names mixed up there. Hmm. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go visit Snide and turn in the blueprints. <laughs> Congre th th thank you for that. <laughs> You're welcome. God damn. I enjoy using that way too much. I can tell. Oh god. Actually, what, who am I kidding? I've only used it twice on your streams. But he said nano machines. Son. All right. Am I missing any other blueprints in this? Uh, no, actually. It's a banana with a Nintendo 64 logo on it. Yay! Yeah, that's what I'm debating is if I want to do Creepy Castle, I might, I might just do all that in recording. Might, I might. I know why you're thinking thinking otherwise, cause Beaver bother. Yeah. It's also, but the thing is, Creepy Castle, the only shitty banana in that stage, uh, besides the Beaver Bother, is Lanky's Maze. That's what I remember. Maze isn't that bad. Yeah, I mean, I get lost on it really easily. Fair enough. So I, like, three, like, five times out of ten, I always end up summoning Get Out Guy in that stage. All right, another blueprint. Um, Kuchi, also, little fun fact. Blueprints actually, um, actually play an important role for the last stage. Oh? Um, I think, I don't know if I mentioned it mentioned already, but I may as well mention it now. Uh, for every blueprint you collect, I think you get, you gain an extra minute for the last stage. Yes, I did say last, extra minute for the last stage. The last stage run, uh, the last stage of the game, uh, runs on a timer. Time missions. Yep, time sure. time mission. It not of the Super Metroid variety. For some reason, I thought you were trying to sing a different theme. No. When you say timer, it's like I think of Metroid. For some reason, yeah, I I mean I now think Metroid, but prior to that, I was thinking Battle Kid too. That's just you. I think Battle Kid, 2 Battle, got, Kid. Battle Kid 2 got its inspiration from Super Metroid, we've learned. Yeah, but, you know, it's just you and Battle Kid. I'm not, I... To be, to be fair, Battle Kid 2. No, to, oh, okay, I'll stop now. Don't even. I almost tried to make uh, a certain someone try to go through Battle Kid 2 hell. That did not work. I wonder why. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder! Did I? I think I've turned in. Nope. I have a couple blueprints left. All right. So after in, turning the blueprints, oh, we got two of them actually. One from the overworld. So DK Isles also had had a, a second blueprint. Um, uh, Linky had a second blue uh, blueprint that we're turning in here. That one's actually in the Crystal Caves lobby, in case anybody didn't remember that. Mm. One hundred and sixty-six out of two hundred one. Almost there. I'm just happy that I'm able to beat that fucking beetle race thing. Yes, we finally beat the beetle because I figured out a strategy because of because um, fifteen years, le twelve years later. Actually, if you don't want to do creepy castle stuff. I know what you can do now while you're waiting. <laughs> well, first I gotta beat the boss. Well, I'd say beat the boss, but I know what you can do. What 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 can I do? The bunny race. <laughs> it's actually kind of tempting to be honest, because I I mentioned I mentioned uh that uh you you can't you can't 100% fungi forest at all until you beat Crystal Caves or 
get the potion from Crystal Caves. I believe you can also get it from Creepy Castle, but who tries Creepy Castle before Crystal Caves? First play first time players. Newbies. Yes. Wandering newbie, right? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh. I almost missed a banana pad. I think this is where we start realizing that DK64 might be slowly slowly running out of ideas. <laughs> Alright. Well, we have one set of bananas left to turn in. And it's from the Kong who will be uh, headlining this entire show. Hint, it's actually not Lanky Kong. So wait, what's going on? So we're so the last bananas that need to be turned in, last seventy-five left will be done by the person who's headlining the show for against the boss. Oh boy. Well hit I mean he I mean he is the star of most games. Okay, I wanna point this out. The concept of having Trough and Scoff be uh feeding bananas to I think Trough or the Hippo guy. Just so you can slam, slam, slam the pad down and raise the height of Scoff to open the key? I don't know, the concept of that just makes me feel a little confused. I feel like they could have reached that, actually, earlier. It, I mean, they could have easily, but no, we, we gotta follow the banana limits. Apparently, they were running some kind of mechanized system inside the caves the entire time. Hmm. Who knows? Who knows? Mikey Kong? Eh, don't worry, we are fighting off against, uh, the... It's the Revenge of Armadillo. Flargo, are you talking to me? No. No, he... It's people in the background. Uh, Armadillo! Armadillo! Same attack patterns, just like the first iteration you fight him, with a couple of twists. So... First phase, you just toss a bunch of TNT barrels to uh, his face once he is opens up. When he once he's opened up, opens up from his armored shell. Also, considering how dark this this area is, I'm prone to making some very interesting mistakes later uh, later during this. Hey, nine. Wait, we're already at this phase. He's already rising up. Yep, I guess it is. So, so now Ar Army Dill is actually uh, apparently flying. And starts slamming the ground, causing a shockwave, which is this, which is his other, tw which is one of his main tw uh, twists in this fight. Also, hey, I was. You asked. You asked. Uh, you said something about uh, about which Kong was going to be headlining, which, headlining the boss battle. So I gave a suggestion. <laughs> Cranky Kong. <laughs> That's totally the best suggestion. After all, he'd be able to do all this without it, without using any continues. Makes sense. I yeah. All right. And under two hours, one hundred percent. I thought that um, Army Dillo's um jetpack ability doesn't come until after beating him three times in the TNT. I was wrong. I'm just trying to imagine this on a uh, on a uh, t on a uh, TV that uh, has an auto uh, darkening uh, feature. <laughs> that would be horrible. As as if this boss fight can't get any darker. Mm -hmm. Make it absolutely impossible to see anything. <laughs> Alright, so be after throwing the TNT barrel and hitting three times, uh, the boss fight doesn't actually end. He actually tries to continue on because of the fact that he has jetpacks. He'll just have to deal without his uh, booster, uh, his uh, weapon of choice. Hold on, I can hit him. There we go. I 
I am reminded of the Thardis battle from Metroid Prime 1. Didn't <laughs> this battle? Thardis is not hard at all. Alright. This doesn't look very hard either. It I'm making it look easy. Oh shit, this is the final phase. So after Regardless, Thardis rolls around, falls nope. around in a fall too. Don't worry, he's uh, after you, after he's ma him. he's making it rain fire right now. That's one of his uh, tw is that's one of his attacks. Then he starts su summoning a homing missile that sucks at homing, other than finally hitting me. But that was the point. And after what? What? It's Susie, it's Susie 9mm. I'm so sad. Oh god. I'm so sad I missed. Really oh nice. look, you got hit. I actually got missed. How did I miss? The desire to hit you. Fill the there missile's right. heart with determination. There we go. There we go, finally. Well, it actually landed. We'll think of your explanations later. We defeated Army Dillo. Also, your HP is measured in watermelons? Yes. So, BD... Army Dillo has been defeated. He has vanished into the thin sky, and we are rewarded a key for our efforts. Let's get it. Hey, we just killed someone. Let's get it. We got a key. And, and now... Well, like and someone was summoned to the rapture. Mm, true. All right. Yeah, I know it's homing, but still. All right, we are leaving uh, Crystal Cave, and we're gonna head over to K Lumsey, where we're gonna turn in the key. My right arm is hurting for some reason. <laughs> now, if this was my K old Lumsey or clumsy, I call him K Lumsey. I think that's his official name. Because because there's a period between the K, K and the L. Okay. You you may as well call him clumsy. Ow. Well, <laughs> hey, I'm not wrong, am I? No, I was talking about you just fell. Ouch! Oh, fall damage. All right, we turn in the key. Flat. K lumsy. Still Actually, uh, oh right, I forgot. If you if you if you if you, if you beat any of the final two stages left. It does trigger a cutscene. We get to see the ship's mouth <coughs> partially open and close. Uh oh, so is, so is this guy the original ruler of the Kremlings? No, no. And that's all we have now. We actually finished that a little bit faster than I anticipated. So, by suggestion of Flarga himself, we are going to be doing the bunny race. Runny babbits. <laughs> so the bunny race is as follows. Uh, in uh, if anybody has uh, ca has caught up to my fungi forest uh, episodes at this point, we have actually um, we actually could not 100% the stage because we were missing a potion that we needed to beat the bunny. Now that we have the potion in our hands, we can actually be we can actually face off against the bunny. Yes, we can. Is it in your hands or in your feet? Consider the following. I need to go find that video that uh, <laughs> my dad found. Wait, crystal coconuts. Are oh shit, I'm at twenty something. That's may that may not be enough for this fucking. Uh... How much crystal meth do you have? <laughs> Good question. I don't know. Largo has a hot mic while 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 we're while we're playing this. Push to talk. Nah, we'll leave. We'll leave him. We'll leave him. So uh, apparently we're in Clickpock Woods. <laughs> All right, so we've laid the trombone pad and we've waken up a bunny. 
Good morning, Lego. I heard you're a bit of a mover. How long ago to put an old fashioned running race around my obstacle course? First back here wins, wins the trophy. So, this is. He's actually kind of cute. Alright, so, this, so this buddy right here, uh, first phase of, the, of this race is just a pushover. It's just simply walking. Well, at least this time the rat, the hare fell asleep, the hare fell asleep at the, uh, finish line. <laughs> wait, you wait, wait. part way. Yes, it looks easy. <laughs> Apparently, we're doing a steeplechase. Wait, where the fuck? Oh shit! I no no. Okay, they. Sorry, okay, they had enemies now. I forget. I forget that draw distance is the major backfire against us. Against us, because I have nowhere, no idea where the course is. Well, we beat him. Not bad for a lumbering ape. I wasn't really trying, so you can't have the trophy yet. But I need to get get my breath for, back before we race the big one. So take this consolation prize, and I'll see you later. He gives us blue coins. So you might be wondering, well. Wait, why can't he give us back the, um, trophy? Well, you have to wake him up again. Because sleeping yeah. is the secret to his strength. I would actually believe it, to be fair. Actually, no, to be fair, that, that's everybody's strength. I'm ready for you this time, Lanky. Make it two out of two, and I'll hand it over my trophy. So, believe it or not, this is the same obstacle course, but the twist here is that the bunny runs at max speed, and to, and to make up for it, we have Lanky Kong and his barrel. This is what this is why we need to wait until. Uh, this is why we need to wait. Now what's can do handstands when he has the power to? What? Excuse me, game. That is not fair. Why? <laughs> no reason. You 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 saw that, right? No. What happened? I got hit with a grenade on the way back. Well. Oh shit! I, I'm not even trying. I'm not even trying. You missed it. Now, the stupid, the stupid part about this race is that you, it's not infinite crystal coconuts. You actually lose crystal coconuts during the race. Well, it's it's so dumb. If they gave me infinite crystal coconuts, he this would have been faded out of existence as he was uh, celebrating his victory. Apparently, he's not actually alive. I would actually. Right. Welcome to Donkey Kong 64 creepy pasta. I've never heard of such a thing. DK's oh my god! Cause Splat, you are a savior! This thing I'll see. Oh, you glitch you out for you? Yes! Cause Splat say cause Splat's giving me a reason to not blow this opportunity anymore. Oh don't worry, I'm gonna don't worry, I'm gonna choke. They're not Dan. Dynamite. Don't worry, I'm gonna choke. I've choked. I choked anyway. Don't care. <laughs> <sighs> apparently, beating apparently beating you in a race is the only thing that keep is the only thing that keeps uh, this rabbit from going on to the next plane of existence. <laughs> I would actually believe it to be fair. Because he fades out every time he wins. Once again, I'm still very miffed that it doesn't- they don't actually refund me in bananas. Or drugs. Or drugs. 
I mean, they're crystal coconuts. Oh my god, I actually didn't go get in the pad. That's a that's that's a, great. There we go. Does it matter if it's the first or second? Uh, yes, it does. If it's the first, he gives he, he gives us blue coins. If it's the because second, he's doing both at the same time. <laughs> yes. That's my point. Why do all the hell bananas revolve around Lanky? Because everyone hates Lanky. But I like because this spell. Some, because because someone decided that uh, because someone decided that the comic care the uh, comic relief character needed to have the worst levels. Don't worry, I don't have that kind of luck anymore. I gotta be perfect in this run to actually... <sighs> the buddy killed the Kremlin! That's amazing! Killed Clump? Uh, he, he killed someone! Race or die. <laughs> don't worry, we beat him! You sure won me monkey mover, Lanky, I'll hand you the trophy. And with six crystal coconuts to spare. You did it by... You did it by... By cheating. Did I really? To be fair, the racing AI cheats all the time. Yes, it, it, that is true. We have also 100%... you didn't jump through the gate. You just happened to pass... Your arm happened to pass through it. And you just continued on. All right. The good news: we have 100% in Fungi Forest, and I think that will be it for Donkey Kong 64 in this in this set of set of videos. Next time oh. we will be <laughs> sad, sad day I know. Next time on DK64, we will continue on into the next level, which is Creepy Castle. Everybody's favorite stage. Also home I to beavers. I love that stage. That stage isn't too bad. It's also home to beavers. And mazes. Lots and lots of beavers. Ah, uh, yeah. It's a theme. I mean, a lot of people like Mad Monster Manor. Manor? It's a mansion, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Regardless, it's a house. It is a house. See you guys later. See ya. Bye.